you've got the screen share there, yeah? So you've got the snog showing up, I guess. Right. So so what do we want to cover? So we're still planning, right? So what do we right. want to cover? Okay, what I've got dim, dim, is I've dim. got this is the window here of all of the constituencies. Um, so I can only open one window at a time. So this is the main page. So shall I open this? Right, there's the main page. So number one is now deselect Matt Hancock. And number two is the Isle of Dogs Neighbourhood Plan No campaign. Ah, I love it. So we won't, we won't touch that this time, but we could maybe mention it. Yeah. Uh, so so how about this shall i open and then i mean i i love opening as ignoramus and then afterwards i can have my shit clarified okay so if you're going to open i'll i'll, I'll turn off the screen share because well actually i can only see you i can't see my screen well that's so fine so I'm not sure what, what, what gets recorded. Well, that's fine, because I think that right now, probably both are getting report, recorded as a split screen. And then afterwards, we'll just get, uh, we'll just get the full screen. Mm -hmm. So should we just do an impro thing and let's, let's see how it goes? Right, OK, then. Yeah. Will you open? Roger, you're the creator of Wiki Ballot, aka Wiki Tactical Voting. I understand from our conversation previously today that there is a certain politician who you're thinking of campaigning to dump, and that man's name is Matt Hancock. Could you just explain to me the relationship between your creation, Wiki Ballot, Wiki Tactical Voting? You know, whether it does what it says on the tin and how that works. Tactical voting, wiki ballot. Well, the idea of wiki ballot or wiki tactical voting came about uh, when John Ward at the Slog um, did one of his something must be done posts. Um, and I sort of said, well, why don't we create some sort of uh, online thing that allows people to get involved with local uh, politics almost like primaries in the us um, which aren't actually within the sort of the established rails of the two-party system stroke three-party system and uh, mainstream media and the best way i could think of doing that after giving it some thought was to actually build a wiki and uh, okay. so, I, so that's what I did. And, and uh, the result is wiki tactical vote, voting. Brilliant. Should we open it up? Yeah, sure. Um, so if I do screen share. That one there. You said just now something that's outside the two stroke three party system and outside the mainstream media. So earlier on, uh, I said to you, ooh. That means that wiki ballots, which can help people in particular constituencies look at who's running, uh, what else can it do? Uh, it's just a wiki. So it, 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 it's a it's like a forum where people can go on to an individual constituency and have a discussion about the candidates. So if I say show you the constituency primary pages, um, you can see here these are two SAM target uh, seats. So send a message that was for the uh, um, the pension uh, thing for the right. over sixties, the yeah. the uh, waspies, um, and uh, so John came up with these slogans for the app so I, I made an app which, which um has got various campaigns on it and then this is a browser that it's a start page browser it's a secure browser with various links that that people can follow um well, what I, I information what, what information right can you get from the wiki ballot uh well if i just get the the, the constituencies up um Every single constituency in the UK has a separate page and the, the adopted constituencies uh, where 
uh, which are largely the ones which were uh, the leave seats in the Brexit debate and the marginal seats. Um, that there's there's more stuff on those. So, some of the safe remainer seats haven't got anything on the pages yet. They're there to be adopted. Now, Matt Hancock's in a Leave constituency in, Su in West Suffolk, um, and his page didn't have very much on it because of, of, it was a, a seat which UKIP didn't run against him in. Um, if they had, it would have become more marginal and Labour might have got in, although he's got a substantial majority. So, for instance, if we go to uh, the constituency... Here we go, yeah, Suffolk constituency page. I can see it just there, yeah. So the West Suffolk constituency page, today I've adopted this page and just put in a bit of stuff about why I think Matt Hancock should be challenged for his seat, uh, i.e. his constituency party should re deselect him and then they should put a proper Conservative in. Um, now... OK. Uh, so there's a link to the Wikipedia entry for that constituency. And then I've just put in a couple of videos here, some statistical analysis uh, about COVID-19. And then this Anna Breeze video, which is a, a balanced coverage of the protest that happened in Trafalgar Square okay. um, yesterday. Um, and, and I've put the constituency website page um, and I've done a couple of tweets uh, t t to encourage people to get in touch with the constituency and say, what are you doing? You know, giving this guy's RMP. Do you think um, that you're going to put this video up on there? Yeah, uh, this video we can download afterwards and put it on the page explaining uh, what it is that we're trying to do. Now, if, if I can just show um, some of the other stuff that's on here, there are various voting apps and things that people can can use. Uh, so if you have a group of people and they're trying to decide, say, someone to put forward instead of Matt Hancock. In, instead of Matt Hancock. Um, the, uh, the There are ways of actually holding primaries with online voting apps. And so it points at different things that people can use to do to do that. If I get one of the marginal seats up for um, It's all a bit slow when you do this stuff live, isn't it, Ranjan? It's um... sure. Well, I mean, you know, the computer is going to be recording and everything as well, mm -hmm. uh, plus internet. Um, so, is it kind of approaching a sort of not real time statistical thing, but because obviously it's not the same as you know on election day, but it's sort of a place that anyone can go and say something about their own constituency or a constituency where they'd like to see some yeah. change. Yeah, it's so like, it's a really it's a change. It's a change based website. Yeah, it's a wiki. So anyone can edit on it. Anyone can, you know, it, uh, um, it's for people to have discussions um, and anyone can edit. Anyone can change things. I'm the webmaster, so I can change things back if people vandalize it or whatever. Mm. Um, but but um, here we are. Let's have a look at some of the more marginal seats. Let's see if there's any interesting ones here. Um, and there's pretty pretty Patel in Whitton. That hasn't been adopted yet. I mean, it may be that some people would like to see pretty Patel uh, deselected because she's not exactly proving to be uh, true to m more libertarian conservative values. Is sort of carrying on where Patrice. So, so what it. happens if you let's say you decide I, I live in um, I live in with them where you know in her constituency or if you've decided I don't but I'd like to help them. What next? Well, what you would do is is, is you would need to adopt the page and there are instructions as to ha what you'd have to do is that page hasn't been created yet on the wiki. Uh, and there are instructions of uh, what what you would do is you put Whitam in the search bar. I would say there isn't a page. Would you like to create a page? Well, I can do that in real time now. So if I just uh, where is she? Where's she gone again? Um, yeah, up three, 
down Whitton, one. There it is, right. So what you do is I, I'll put Whitam in the search. It's, it will say that there is. Oh, you really do create a completely new entry. OK, it's not pre-existing. That's right. So it says uh, create the page Whitam on this wiki. So. Uh, uh, right which is I want to do it's because we're recording it's taking longer than it would so um, I do want to do that um. so for example let's say I th I, I didn't so click with them and it's going to then create the page there we are so now I can sort of say right um, campaign to deselect Pretty Patel. So I put that there. OK. Um, and then I would say save page. Whitam then will have a page with nothing on it, like, you, you know, a link. So campaign to deselect Pretty Patel. So then you copy that there. Go back to the main page again, because what you need to do is direct the constituency page at the front to that one. Uh, so go back to the constituency primary pages. And. Uh, there we are, constituency primary pages. And this is how wikis work. They, they, they sort of build up as you go. And so there's a lot of data on here. Um, so then here they are here. So I want to edit Whitam, so I go edit source. And then anyone can do this on this site, and then I just need to find Whitam in the uh, thing there. So quickest way for me to do that is to use this. So Whitam, there's Whitam, pretty Patel. And so Whitam has, has now got a page, so I want to um, Put the link in there. Um, so, how do I do that? I've got to remember how to do it now. Uh, paste. Oh, that's just the link there. Did I do edit? I did edit it. So then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have done it because you said you, in there, you created it, and then in there you said campaign to deselect. So. Save changes. So you just put the you just put the URL in there. Okay. I have. Um, we'll see, we'll see how well, that comes. That doesn't out. look it very might, complicated so far. It might have screwed up me. Let's have a look. I think she was on about sixty percent, wasn't she? Let's have a look. Bit further down, nearly. Rhonda Whitam, there we are. So, right, so Whitam, so instead of giving it a number, uh, I'll have to work out how I did that. But but now if someone wants to then go to the Whitam page, they find it there, open the link, and and then you've created the page. And, and it's the same as editing Wikipedia. You you can basically turn it into a, a page with, with headings and, and all the rest of it if you know how to use the markup language. It's so it's almost like it's, so, it's, so, it's, so it's a particular campaign within that constituency. And so let's say uh, an MP or a cabinet minister was getting some heat, mm -hmm. then... Um, whoever it is that may or may not vote against them at the next election, you could almost put, you know, reasons. You could say, well, what about this scandal? Seeing as everyone's... Well, that, that's right. And, and, and it's, a, it's a way of putting information which people who are interested can go and have a look and see what's happened before. So I, I, there are some by-elections that, that um, we... we, we we did uh, some campaigns on, 
um, and I, I've put a few voting apps on them. But if we, if we just go back, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, um, like, for instance, Newport, Newport West, when that one came up, uh, mm. there, there's quite a lot. I think that was one of the first ones that we did. Uh, was um, that Paul Flynn? Yeah, when he died. Um, so have they got a new one? Have they, have they done it? Oh, God, yeah, that, that was um, last year or whatever. But if we just find it, uh, European elections, Newport West, here in Newport West by-election. So if I click on the Newport West by-election, um, uh, we, we, we did one for Peterborough as well, Brecon and Radnorshire. So all the by-elections in, in the run-up to the last election, this, this was up, and, and, and so if we go to Newport West. Uh, here it is. You can see there's a more substantial page here. Um, there's also a this is a Web3 Wikipedia called Everpedia, which, which I, I made an entry when we were building this. So candidates voting primary. This this is some voting software that I put together. Um, uh, it's called Polis. Um, and and so that was so people could run straw polls, you know, and see who they brought. It's just for demonstration purposes. Yeah. And um, did anyone use it apart from us? Or you? No, it, 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 it uh, people looked at the tweets and, and um, if, if I show you the recent changes thing, like when it comes up here. Um, so, I mean, for see, example, the, these are the changes that I've made today, but you can see on the 18th of September, uh, a new user called George Wattling signed up. But, you know, all the way down here, the, the, I mean, the, these sign-ups go back all the way to the very first... Uh, yeah, you yeah do, you've, got, you've, first got, you've got quite a few. Yeah. Um, so, so, in a way... People have looked at it, but, but um, I guess people probably are frightened out off by the html or whatever well i know i would uh, be i mean if you hadn't if you hadn't shown me a little bit here i would be you know i'd be very lost um but in a way obviously because you're from the open source culture so you know well i've been editing on wikipedia for years so i i, I you know yeah. so, I mean, it. maybe, it's, maybe. it's a learning curve uh, think, but there are other tools in this, so it, it works as a website. You know, if, if 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 people read through, there's a kind of a there's a logical structure. I mean, wikis are very logical structures anyway. Uh, so you know, the the deselect Matt Hancock campaign, someone can make that. You know, someone may want to go and make their own wiki about it, and I'd say fantastic, uh, because in terms of direct democracy and real accountability of elected officials, elected MPs, councillors, whatever, um, these sorts of platforms in open source world are things that people can do um, to uh, organise amongst themselves outside of the party structures, which are very rigid um, and, and very controlled and, and contrived, I hasten to add. Um, and so, like we we supported a number of Brexit Party kind candidates in the last thing, where where we thought anti-Brexit MPs or anti-democratic MPs, you know, could do with a bit of competition, as it were, and hopefully be voted out. Um, it's not a Brexit Party site. There are links to a site that was very pro-Brexit Party. Um, that, that there are links also to the Liberal Democrat. You know that that wanted to stop brexit altogether and, and and so what what it's for is to bring all of the information into the discourse that's yeah. the idea of the wiki okay. yeah. and and if people the more people information people have the more likely it is that they'll have the facts that apply to their own particular local needs and whether their mp or their council or whatever a batting for them or, or batting for whoever, the, the corporations, the banks or, you know, a white, you know. Dare I say that um, were it not for the death of local journalism, there might not be much demand for this wiki tactical voting thing. If there were prominent local investigative journalists all over the country 
uh, calling out all of the um, various, you know, backhanders, etc., whatever might be going on, that um, this might not be necessary because they'd well, all I mean, be... there are local papers. I mean, I, but there are links on various of the constituencies to the local papers. And um, Newport, the South Wales Argus, for instance, did some really good coverage of the Newport by-election. Um, so... And the thing about local newspapers is the comment sections, too, because that's a place where people can have a discussion. Um, but obviously, comment sections on the BBC and on a lot of online publications are really very heavily um, moderated now. You know, moderation is a weak word for censor, I, I would say. Uh, yes, I fully agree. Um, and um, uh, this is open source. I mean, it's, it's self-policing. Um, and uh, I think that people discussing politely, um, even where they disagree, it, it's a way of getting, you know, more information. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think better that... questions of the people that are holding themselves forward for election. Yeah, exactly. So each constituency could go in any direction it happens to. But the point is you have created a structure where people in any constituency can have some sort of discourse about how happy they are or not in that constituency. That's what yeah, I'm taking and, away from and, 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 and have proper hustings and uh, almost like in a primary process to if there isn't someone that they think is going to go into bat for them properly uh, to actually put their own independent person up. Um, and so, and so uh, the you latest... gave me that book. Or actually, it wasn't you. My ex-wife gave me a book called Flat Pack Democracy to, to read, yeah. which is yeah. about local democracy and what what's been happening down in the southwest of England. Yeah, and it's it's all this sort of thing. I mean, you know, my ex-wife came to those conclusions, you know, through her own frustrations with sure. with, with 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 national politics, um, and I came to my own conclusions. Um, I mean, I, I'm I, I, I'm back in business in the UK now, but I live in Sweden. And um, the 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 point is that I'm I'm frustrated with the lack of choice, um, you know, lack of representation of 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 my views, which are you know my views are pretty mainstream. I think. I mean, I am an anarchist, so that's a little bit off the wall. But but you know, my my. my my hopes and aspirations are, are pretty middle of the road, really. I, I would say, um, you know, well, I, I don't I mean, want to be re regardless pushed of around by government, and I, I want to go down the pub, have a few beers, and a good laugh, and be able to tell a dirty joke now and again. <laughs> well, <laughs> regard, regardless of your perception of your uh, of your values, Roger, it sounds to me that you have created a vessel, a vehicle that people can use for themselves. And that the ultra democratic thing about it is that every post you put up will be the latest post in that constituency. Full stop. Yeah, and and, and you know I, I, I'm really looking forward to you know people getting stuck into it. I mean I I understand that wikis are a you know they're not exactly drag and drop like some of the sort of easier yeah. web building things. Um, but the, but but they are. It's worth the learning curve, I think. But what this site also does is point to some other more sort of uh, user friendly type apps. OK, um, and, well, and, maybe and, maybe in and, the future at some point we'll do something that's very short, very slick and that's very just kind of like, um, you know, wiki ballot. Here's how you do it. One, two, three. You know, find yeah. your constituency. Well, I mean, there da, da, da. is a video on here of how to do it, but it's okay. not, you know, it, 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 it's not like a bumper sticker because it, it is a learning curve. You know, yeah. I, I can't pretend that editing on a wiki doesn't have a learning curve with it. Yeah, but, but we, could, I, we, could, we, could, we, could, we could do the list of, you know, it's, it's six steps. This, 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 you know. Yeah. We could still do that. Yeah, I mean, it, and the thing is, is, is you can just open a page and just type something. And if you get people that, you know, get a bit more into it, um, then, you know, people can build all sorts of things. I mean, and like I say, they can build their own wiki if, if, if they wish to or, or go on Everpedia. Everpedia is actually quite user friendly, um, but it's it's not free. 
um, in, in the financial sense. It's free in the computing, but it's not really free in the computing sense, really, but 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 it, it's on a blockchain. Um, and um, well, I think it, I think what you're saying is already getting a bit complicated. I'm very pleased that we've had this conversation about wiki ballot, wiki tactical mm -hmm. voting, and that um, hopefully if anybody was interested and has lasted this long, they're still interested and may look out for another video where further examples are shown. Yep, indeed. And obviously the reason we're having this conversation is because Matt Hancock is not doing a very good job um, and, and is really overreaching uh, the, the, the bounds of political power, which are reasonable to those of us that have any understanding of what the British Constitution is and, and, and actually do care about the freedoms that are sort of fathers, grandfathers, great grandfathers for, for the younger generation actually fought and died for in the Second World War. You know, we they fought on our behalf not to have a Gestapo. Well, yeah, I mean, if anybody watches this in a year, which is not 2020, just for a bit of context, we do appear to be re-entering martial law um, oh. with um, a fairly Stasi-like approach to yeah. reporting, reporting on you your neighbours. And that link to that Patrick Jenkin thing, and he's on the same page as Tobias Elwood MP. Bernard um, Jenkin, yeah. Neither yeah. of which gentlemen have any business being in Democratic House of the Parliament. They should both be called up in front of their constituencies. Um, uh, committees and 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 and, and uh, cashiered in the sternness of terms. Well, I mean, what I like about what you're saying is, for example, I can look up Bernard Jenkin and just put a link to to a screenshot of the Telegraph story where he's calling for martial law and saying, mm -hmm. "Enough said." Yeah, it's just it's not on, is it? That's well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm talking about your thing. It may be not yeah. on, but. I can do something about it by just logging on to his constituency. And yeah, say, you can log on to his constituency. You can put some links up, up there and just put your argument. And, and then, you know, people can join in and agree or or at least discuss it. You know, if there's someone out there that thinks martial law is a good idea, well, let's shine the light of public scrutiny on it and see how good your arguments really are. I love it. Yes. In the competition in the marketplace of ideas. Quite. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Well, Roger, it's been very um, educational and inspirational. And the idea that people can get involved in their own lives is obviously a bit of a taboo, but um, you're helping to make that possible. Well, I mean, it's there if, 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 if it's useful. Great. Um, I've, I've enjoyed building it. I mean, it, it's, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's Brilliant. Well, thanks very much. That's what it does it says on the tin. <laughs> Brilliant. So I guess you're going to chop out from there. But um, that was about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Yeah, 28 minutes and two seconds as we talk. Oh, OK, so, so um, yeah, I mean, I think it was I think it, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was a soft intro. Just the fact that you were talking to me means that you did have to explain everything. And... I, I'm not sure how the screen capture will come when 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 uh, when we hang yeah, up. Yeah, it will come up in about five minutes and you will have a look and. Uh -huh. If you download it, then you'll actually see what it okay. comes up. Look, I'm dying for a pee. Can I do that? And then I'll give you a buzz back if you've got time. We'll see. Yeah, although I might go walkies. So if you want to call me, I don't know if I've got Skype on my thing, but. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I'm bursting anyway. for a pee. So I'll okay. <laughs> speak to you in a minute. Okay. Bye. All right then. Cheers.